Graphics said 2014 already. Oh, uh, well, that was a mistake. Oh. Uh, hey, 2013 <laughs> was a big year in culture, from dinner tables to water coolers. Some stories kept America talking. Let's bring in Todd Starnes from Fox News Radio. He's here to take a look back at the top culture stories of 2013. So, good morning, Todd. Good, good morning. morning. Yes. Let's let's start with your favorite. Or maybe it's <laughs> number one. I don't know. Obamacare? Oh, geez, Lou. Yeah, Obamacare. Look, this was a big, big deal. Uh, here you had the federal government trying to, to tell people, churches, Christian colleges, that they have, to, they have to disobey the tenets of their faith so they can obey the government instead. And I think that that issue got lost in all of the political talk. But this really was, I think, the biggest issue, the culture war issue of the year. Mm -hmm. Well, one of the nastiest was Martin Brashear at MSNBC and Sarah Palin. I can't believe those words came out of his mouth. This is one of the reasons that I advocate strong border security. <laughs> what is this guy doing in the country? <laughs> Martin Bashir needs to go back back across the big pond where he can uh, do whatever he wants to. But yeah, this was really atrocious. I mean, what kind of a man says this kind of stuff about a lady on television, much less you know anywhere else? Uh, but this really was a big deal. I think I was really surprised that MSNBC did not do the right thing in the first place, which was to fire the guy. Uh, he ended up they allowed him to resign instead. What a big mess. Quote unquote resign. Yes. Cool. The war on Christmas. Mm -hmm. Yes, this was, you know, th this was really strange. I, last year, we sort of slacked off. This year, the uh, war on Christmas bunker uh, here at, uh, at Fox News Channel, boy, we were going full, uh, full gun. Is it getting worse? It really is. And uh, <laughs> just to give you a, a, just a very recent example, over the past couple of days, we have now had five reports of instances at Veterans Administration hospitals across the country mm -hmm. where, uh, where Christmas cards were not allowed inside. In one instance in Georgia, a group of kids came in, wanted to sing Christmas. Christmas carols. They said no religious carols. They gave the kids, get this, a government approved list of Christmas carols. <laughs> God. I'd like to see that. Winter list. Wonderland. Did they have Frosty, to change yes. the, the lyrics of Rudolph, Silent Night? Rudolph, yes. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Unbelievable. Um, uh, number four on your list here, uh, Todd, is the battle over religious liberty in the armed forces, something you were just <coughs> touching on in j a little bit there. That's right. And this goes back to uh, earlier in the year where we, ha where we uh, presented exclusive stories about how uh, military personnel were being taught that uh, evangelical Catholics or evangelical Christians and Roman Catholics are considered religious extremists. Uh, they were taught that groups like the American Family Association and Family Research Council, we just had Tony <laughs> Perkins on, yeah. were examples of domestic hate groups. Uh, it, w it wasn't until after our reports aired that the Secretary of the Army came out and ordered those diversity classes canceled until they could figure out what was going <laughs> on. But there is a serious battle being waged in the military right now on the religious liberty front. And finally, if you haven't heard by now, Duck Dynasty, what? Phil Robertson will be back on the air. I am so Happy, happy, happy. Uh, you know, I was, a, I was a Duck Dynasty fan before Duck Dynasty was cool. Uh, and look, I, I think at the end of the day, what we had here was this one central issue that has yet to be addressed. Do gay rights trump religious rights? That's going to be the issue moving forward. And I believe the Duck Dynasty incident, this debacle, really elevated that discussion to the national, to the national platform. It'll be interesting to see how this story plays out through the year. Happy New Year. Happy New Year, guys. See you. So Good much to see you.